Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play System Shock 2. Last time we had made it down to the engineering deck where our goal is to uh, restore power to the main elevator so we can head up to deck 4 to meet with Dr. Polito. So let's pick it up there in engineering A. Uh, hold on, I'm getting that lag again. Much better. Okay, good. So, right away in this room, I notice we have an anti-rad hypo, a bottle of very strong vodka. That ladder heads back up to deck two. You're now on the engineering deck. Find the engine core and reset it. This will restore power to the elevators. I'm getting some kind of strange readings from down there, so keep your eyes open. Alright, so that email was titled... Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding Reset the Core. New, uh, new goal is reset main power at the engine core to restart elevators. The desk has a med hypo, 20 nanites, a game cartridge, Swine Keeper, which we already have installed, and an audio log, Curtis, July 10th, 2114, regarding Just Us. It's down to just a few of us now. Right after Valdez died, I, I guess I went a little nuts and started tearing things apart. But what do you know, I, I found two more rad hypes. Hopefully that'll keep me going long enough to figure a way past that damn turret. Who is that? Delacroix? Sanger? Uh, there's a mug under the... desk. All right. Uh-huh. If we turn left toward the engine core, or we can go right toward the shuttle bay. Let's use our tier two uh, rad shield. This is Xerxes. The core tubes are off limits to all personnel. To avoid possible detention and execution, please respect the will of the many. Alright, we ran into a pipe hybrid with a med hypo. Here is a corpse with... Radiation shield deactivated. Two cyber modules. Over here we've got cigarettes. Security crate, hack skill 2 required. There's my module total up to 5. The radiation must have locked the protective seals on engine core access. You're going to have to find some way to purge the radiation from the coolant tubes. Xerxes is blocking me out of the primary data loop, so I can't get any information to help you. He's working for them now. Alright, so that email. Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding protective seals. So we've got a new goal, purge radiation from coolant tubes to reopen engine core. Fair enough. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's rock another rad shield before we head back through here. Radiation shield Keep your eyes open. You must find a way to purge these coolant tubes and get into the engine core. The ship must have some kind of backup system in place for just this kind of situation. Alright. <clears throat> Let's head left first. Radiation shield deactivated. Do you have a red hypo? I'm so sick. We have another radiated hallway here. Here's an open storeroom. We would need hack skill of one to hack the keyboard, but we don't really need to. That crate's got nothing. This one has six anti-personnel shotgun shells. 
This one's empty. On the ground, we have a pistol. Shoddy condition. Three. Radiation shield deactivated. The corpse has two cyber modules. You must move faster. Your mind cannot conceive of the stakes we are dealing with. Keep your eyes open for Utility Storage 4. I've laid in some supplies there. The passcode is 59004. Got to get to death. The many demands the termination of this exchange. We regret any inconvenience. Okay, let's check those... I forgot to look at those two emails, but we have <clears throat> Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding purging the tubes, and Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding Utility Storage 4. New notes. Supplies are in Utility Storage 4, code 59004. Awesome. That body's got nothing. Okay, I hear a hybrid. Is there silence? The Discord. Burn, kill me! He had a bottle of liquor, two boxes of six Please rifled seek. slugs each, and the usual broken shotgun. Your flesh betrays you. Pipe hybrid. Didn't we want that. Seek. Definitely didn't want that either. We seek. Burn, kill me. There we go. Five nanites, and here's an audio log. Delacroix, June thirtieth, twenty one fourteen, regarding Tau Ceti five. Anatoly, you must open up the planet to the scientific staff of this vessel. If there is something down there, it's bigger than Triop. It's bigger than the UNN, and it's bigger than you. And why have you and Diego shut off Deck 3? What's going on? This corpse has an anti-radiation hypo. My brawn boost implant is out of power. It's been 20 minutes, but that's just gonna show up as a tiny little hiccup. Had a phone call. Of course, it's doing the lag things. We restart the recording and hopefully it works correctly. This time it did. Good. Alright, we've got another audio log here. Sanger, July 5th, 2114. Regarding the soldiers. Before I couldn't get rid of those jarheads from the Rickenbacker. And now I can't find one for love or money. That creepy OSA guy followed me around for two months until he got the hint. Now I tried to contact him to see if he knew what was going on, but all of a sudden, he won't return my mail. Interesting. This is Auxiliary Storage 5. Unhackable and I don't have the code. Let's search the body. We've got version 1 repairing software and two cyber modules. Brings my total up to nine. Guess for now, I just need to head back this way. Let's rock the rad shield. Hybrid's 
got nothing. Here's utility storage four, which Polito gave us the code for. Five, nine, zero, zero, four. Now listen carefully. The Xenomorphs who have hijacked this ship are presumably from the surface of Tau City 5. They've been able to infect a number of crew members through an extremely invasive parasitical technique. They've also demonstrated the ability to control the actions of others through some form of limited telepathy. Find the research soft, understand them, then kill them. All right, let's search these crates. Here we have a hazard suit, a med hypo, a speed booster, 10 nanites, and a rad hypo. Beautiful. All around, beautiful. Let's pick up this audio log, Delacroix, July 4th, 2114. Regarding taking action. I'm not sure what secrets you and your new buddy, Captain Diego, have yeah, got going up on deck with me, but I intend to find out. If you continue to refuse to meet with me and my staff, you will leave me no choice but to register a complaint with corporate. If you want to take me seriously, perhaps Sergeant Bronson and her security staff will. Friggin' respawn. It's intense. Let's put the hazard suit on. Definitely beats a uh, burning sigh on the rad shield. We've got six standard bullets. And another pistol. The corpse has five nanites. There's a spare wrench. And that functionally brings us back here and closes out the coolant tubes. My inventory's full, so I'm getting rid of some junk. Missing over 10 health, I might as well use a med hypo. Still got my hazard suit on. Let's pick up the spare wrench on the ground here. Let's head back through here. Get back to this tunnel and pick up that spare pistol. Now let's hang a left up here. That corpse has five nanites on it. I think now we can put our combat armor back on. So we're out of the tubes. The other entrance back to the tubes is right over here. We do not know death. Only death. Only change. We cannot kill, we cannot kill each vision. other without killing ourselves. Is your vision so small that you cannot see the value of our way? I could have sworn that one of those many voices sounded just like Garrett from Thief. After this video, I'm gonna have to 
hunt around and see who did the three voices of that, you know, are interlaced to be the many. Oh, very good, sir. Protocol droids are kamikazes. Oh, very good, sir. It's possible to get just close enough to them that they detonate without hurting. See, I don't quite know how I pulled it off, but I did, and that's all that matters. Let's destroy the camera now. Now we can turn on the regeneration station. And we can do a few other things. Here's the main elevator for deck one. So I can leave the... And start leaving my junk here, starting with that pistol and the wrench. Here's an audio log. Curtis, July 7th, 2114, regarding that leak again. Delacroix was right. This ship was not ready for prime time. Okay. The automatic safety seals have shut due to the radiation leak in the tubes. I'm gonna head down to engineering control. I think I can use the fluidics monitoring computer to purge the tubes. I also should point out just the last email from Polito, July 12th, 2114, regarding the xenomorphs. That's all well and good. Now let's see what we have over here. Body with 15 nanites. And a replicator. Hi there. Please make your selection. Hack skill 3 required. We can get a soda can for 6, a fragmentation grenade clip for 200, psi hypo for 150, med hypo for 60. I don't need to get anything just yet. Said, let's head into this center area. See a monkey on the ground level. Let's introduce him to our brand of wrench tastic justice. Down here we've got two cyber modules and five nanites. Head back up to the middle level now. And up to the top level, why not? Up here we've got a box of 12 armor-piercing bullets and a security station, which we would need level 1 skill to hack. Let's just drop off the armor-piercing bullets, since I don't really need them. And let's keep moving. Damn it. I hate those guys. I really do. I'm Alright. He doesn't have anything. There's another extra wrench. We've got a disposable maintenance tool. Nothing on the other body. This is Xerxes. Due to the recent confusion, there will be a ship-wide census tomorrow at 0900. All personnel, please report to the common area of Deck 5 at that time. Alright. As we head this way, we're going to Engineering Control and the Cargo Bays. There's another camera. Bring it swift, wrench-tastic justice. Can't use that lift. So I guess we'll just keep going. Alright, we've got grav shafts up to engineering control. There's a pistol on the ground and six standard pistol bullets next to the body. Let's head up and check out engineering control. Got a med hypo hiding I under this us. vent cape, vent cover. But 
over here. All right. Key code we don't have. Here's a shotgun. It's broken. And an audio log. Sanger, July 10th, 2114. Regarding locking engineering control. God, get me out of here. I bring Conan the lock to this room. Maybe that will hold him. I'm heading to cargo... To cargo bay 2. Come find me there. All right. So to get into engineering control, we should head to cargo bay 2. Well, let's... Ride the grav shaft back down. Keep heading this way. We got 15 nanites there. Six armor piercing bullets and a psi hypo, although I'd rather not take that hit. There we go. So let's go deal with the turret. This one I should be able to wrench most of the way down and then finish with one well-placed shot of cryokinesis. Shit! Finish it now. Let's not waste any side points. Seriously, let's not waste any side points. Got it. going toward the cargo bays. Oh my goodness. There's an audio log on the ground. Martin, July 10th, 2114. Here comes a hybrid. Got the usual broken shotgun. What in the world? We seek hurry. These respawn rates are completely ridiculous. I'd just like to point that out as I come back here to drop off all my junk. Anyway, the Martin audio log is regarding Cargo Bay 2. Sure, what's creeping me out worse? The hybrids with their pipe oh. shotguns. Damn it. Let's listen to the log. I'm not sure what's creeping me out worse. The hybrids with their pipes and shotguns? The berserk turrets are our supposed allies. I don't trust those UNM bastards. I've got to find Sanger. She knows the access code to Fluidic's control. I'm gonna make my way over to Cargo Bay 2 to find her. We 
got a protocol droid on top of the camera and two turrets in this room. I'm sure this is just... Okay, we at least got the kamikaze droid exploded. Apparently, I'm visible through those crates. So hiding there is not an option. I can't get into that security substation either. All right. Let's do this. Rather, let's just try and get through the room. I remain convinced I could make it through without getting tagged. If I were just a little bit smarter with my zigzag. Damn it. Alright, let's get the cyan out. Let's get rid of the camera first. Too much. Alright, we got the camera. That helps, for sure. Marvelous choice. Who chose the Another protocol droid. We handled it, though. What I need is a shooting position for that turret. See if this works. Almost. Really, almost. There we go. Okay. Rock a Psy Hypo. I hear a protocol droid. Good. Let's search these crates. 
Nothing, 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 nothing. Now, the other turret I should be able to mostly wrench. Trying to circle around it like this. Until I finish it with one cryoblast. it. Now we can search both turrets. A portable battery. There's a hybrid. Let's hope it's a pipe. It is. Damn it. We do not Silence. Come on! Do the upswing. There we go. Alright. Let's query the portable battery now. The Electro-SIM Type 2 portable battery contains enough power to recharge virtually any powered device. A small flaw in the discharge terminal prevents the battery from being used more than once, as it fully discharges upon use. ElectroSim has issued a recall for this particular type of battery. Alright, let's search the corpse. We've got a security access card and a disposable maintenance tool. I suspect that access card will get us in here. Security control station. Back here. hybrid out there. The corpse has 15 nanites. Here we have an incomplete surgical unit. So there is not an active one around here. I'm going to go ahead and activate it using that key I've been carrying around. Here's an unresearched object, which we'll definitely want to research. And here we've got two upgrade units. We have Psy and Weapons. Neither of those really do me any good, but let's check these lockers. We find two cyber modules and an audio log. Bronson, July 6th, 2114. Regarding turret problems. Due to the tenuous situation as of late, I've ordered security defense turrets placed at key locations. Yesterday, one went off accidentally and critically injured Crewman Wells. However, somebody must have tampered with the Xerxes security subsystems, because now my technicians are unable to take them offline. Until we get to the bottom of this, I've ordered all security turrets recalled to storage. But now I can't get in touch with the team I sent out to do the recall. Yep. Let's search the other locker. Fifteen nanites. And over here is another suit of light combat armor. There's a hybrid out here somewhere. Silence the Discord. No. Alright. I need to go drop my excess junk at the main elevator. Good grief. Are you guys seeing the truly insane amount of respawn that's happening to me here. Good grief. Let's kill him. Please. 
Without getting tagged, please. Come on, do the upswing. Why are they all suddenly able to run so fast? I don't get that either. There we go. Eat shit. Jeez. Now I hear a protocol droid. <sighs> I mean, it never stops, but... Can I at least get a little break? All right. Let's head back through now. I'll level with you though, I'd actually... I'm sure this is just what you were looking for. I'd rather the protocol droid oh! than another hybrid, because... It'll kill itself. Perfect. All right. Let's head through the bulkhead toward everything else. Unreal. All right. We're going to call it a video, as I always do when I cross over to a new map, so... This has been Let's Play System Shock 2. We tackled Engineering A. Next up, Engineering B. We're headed to Cargo Bay 2 to learn the code to get into fluidics control, so we can purge the radiation from the coolant tubes, so we can reset the engine core, so we can turn on the elevator, so we can visit Dr. Polito. So, that's where we are. Until... until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.